5's Leon Bibb reports in his continuing series, My Ohio. A lot of liquor is being made right here for a world demanding more whiskey. Build a better product and the world will be the pathway to your door. Some say if you give them a drink, the world will show up even faster. In this building near downtown Cleveland, a company is putting out a product the world wants. Now this is it. This is the heart of the operation, Cleveland Whiskey. If you thought you heard whiskey, you heard whiskey. Of Cleveland's distilleries, this is the new bottle on the block. Cleveland Whiskey bellies up to the bar with its own bourbon. Cleveland Whiskey has set up in an old building on East 25th Street. Cleveland Whiskey is challenging the usual long-time aging of bourbon. Traditionally, bourbon is aged for flavor in oak barrels for many years, but here, the years are removed. It's been made the same for hundreds and hundreds of years, and we're trying to do something new and different and exciting here. Liquor starts as clear as water, but the color comes from bourbon's aging in oak. In the past, it took a lot of aging in oak, but that is where this story takes a different turn. We squeeze the oak inside the tank. It forces the alcohol deep into the pores of the oak, pushes it out very aggressively. We do that over and over and over again. Makes for a very bold flavor. It is a bold move taking on the American South's bourbon boys. Tom Licks is the owner of Cleveland Whiskey, former marketing executive, former professor of entrepreneurship at Lake Erie College. While teaching in his classrooms, he hired some of his students. He talked about liquor and aging in wood. That caught attention. For a national internship, I did wood chipping for, uh, for uh, Cleveland Whiskey and actually got credit for it in class. One thing led to another and Lix's students joined in. Business in classrooms to making bourbon in Cleveland. And my grandma just laughed. She said she would never believe that her grandson was making whiskey. He assured grandma it was not bootlegging, but legitimate business. In 10 months, 50,000 bottles sold, mostly in Ohio. We can't make it fast enough. That's why our technology is working so well. Licks came from Boston, but Cleveland touched his taste more. So he named his liquor Cleveland Bourbon. Distilling is not exactly new to Licks. Years ago, when he was in the U.S. Navy, on his ship, he linked up with a sailor who was fermenting fruit juice to secretly make liquor the Navy didn't know about. He had tapped into the seawater system for coolant. He tapped into the steam system for uh, a heating source, and he was making hooch on the ship. <laughs> he took me under his wing and taught me everything I needed to know about making liquor. All this is a far cry from hooch secretly concocted in a ship's boiler room. This is far better. Bourbon is made from a grain mixture, which must be at least 51% corn. It has been around for a long time. This is the finished product in barrels, ready for bottling. All of this reminds me of a story I heard about some of my ancestors in the American South many years ago. They made bourbon too, illegal though it was, during the prohibition years, moonshine, granddaddy called it. Well, the process is a lot different from what granddaddy was making, but the idea remains the same. Bourbon, an American drink. Do you taste test it to make sure it's up, up to your standards? You know, there is a lot of quality control in this business and somebody's got to do it. Taste for bourbon has skyrocketed worldwide. Cleveland whiskey bellies to the bar with a new brand. Bourbon demand outpacing production, Cleveland Whiskey figures, by its pressurized, quicker step of just a matter of days aging, it gets around the old aging process. It figures it gains the inside track with new technology. It is trying to move in on the big name bourbon boys. Licks believes most bourbon drinkers don't care how long liquor is aged, as long as it goes down smooth and easy. He is not only boosting bourbon, but also Cleveland. Every time a shot is poured, the name stares someone in the face. Cleveland, bourbon country, all part of my Ohio. Live on 5, I'm Leon B. And now you want some, right? Mark just yeah. said, where can where you get it? it? Cleveland bourbon is available in drinking establishments. <laughs> And where liquors are sold by the bottle, it is 100 proof. Whoa. Where is it, Mark? It's got to be around here I somewhere, know. right? Where is that bottle? <laughs> well, there's no samples. There's only wine around here. Yeah. You know what that story was missing? 
one little. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just for this fun. This is the high quality yeah, stuff, Yeah, this Mark. is the good okay. stuff. The good stuff. That right. is. No hiccups. It'll warm you up pretty, pretty quickly. You know, we're going to need something to warm us up through the weekend and into next week. Mm -hmm. so